Hello, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a sports theme website. The platform that we'll be using in this example is Wix. The reason why I recommend Wix is it is beginner friendly, meaning it's easy to use even if you are completely new to creating websites. And also you can get started for completely free. You don't need a credit card or anything like that to sign up and start creating your website. So all you'll need to do is go onto Wix.com, sign in with your email address, and then you're going to create a password. Once you have done that, you will be redirected to a dashboard just like this. And all you'll need to do from here is simply type in sports. So let me type in sports real quick. After typing in sports, you can tap on sports team. Then you are going to tap on next. Once you have tapped on next, you will be redirected to this page. And let's say for example, you want to name your website. So you can add your website name right here. So let's say I want to name my website Arsenal fan. So let me do that real quick. And yes, I'm an Arsenal fan. Then you are going to tap on next. After you have tapped on next, you'll be redirected to this page. And from here, you'll be able to choose the plugins that you'd want on your website. So let's say, for example, you plan on selling items. So let's say you plan on selling jerseys or so on. You can also tap on online store. And you already have the option right here to sell tickets. So you'll be able to sell tickets to your fans or so on. Or if you are creating a sports team fan page, you can simply tap on that also. And you'll be able to resell tickets or if so on if you want. You can also add bookings. You can add blogs or so on if you want. You can also add your Instagram feed if you like. Then you're going to tap on next at the bottom of the page. Once you have tapped on next, I want you to tap on begin with a template. By tapping on begin with a template, you'll be redirected to this page. And this is one of the reasons why I said Wix was beginner friendly. As you can see with these beautiful templates, you'll be able to create a good looking professional website in no time. As you can select any one of these templates and get started for completely free as you can see right here. So let's say, for example, I wanted to use this template, or better yet, this one. All I would have to do is tap on edit, then wait a few seconds. Meanwhile, the AI compiles our website in the background. Once it loads up, you will see this pop up. And this is a new AI feature that Wix offers. So all you'll need to do is type in words or content that you would like to see on your website. So you could type in anything that is related to the sports theme that you are creating the website for. Then you'll tap on create site text and the AI would be able to add content automatically. But for this example, I won't be using that feature. So I'll tap on the X. Then you are going to tap right where you see plus 50% in the top right hand corner. And this is how our website looks at the moment, as you can see right here. So all you have to do is scroll down and you can see how it looks. And to make any changes, all you have to do is hover over the section that you would like to change. Then you could tap on quick edit. So if you would like to change the background image or any text, you can do that as there's going to be a pop up on the right hand column. And from there, if I wanted to change the background, I could do that by tapping on change right there. If you would like to change any text, you can also do that by simply tapping on the text section that you would like to change, as you can see right here. And to add anything to your website, if you would like to add a new page, all you have to do is go over to the left hand menu option, tap on the third icon, which is pages and menu. And you can see the pages that are currently on my website. If I wanted to add a new page, all I need to do is tap on add page right there. So if you wanted to add an about page, you can do that. If it's a blank page that you'd like to add, you can do that. If it is a case where you'd like to add a store, you could do that also by tapping on store. 
let me tap on the x right here to close out now if you would like to edit one of the pages so let's say we'd like to edit the shop page all you'll need to do is tap on shop once you have done that you are going to be redirected to the shop page or the page that you would like to edit as you can see right here this is how the shop page looks at the moment and these are the products that are listed and again from the left hand menu option you can see the pricing options and so on and this is why i said wix is easy to use and it also makes your website looks professional as you can see right there and again to do any editing you can tap on quick edit quite easily and if you would like to add anything to your website all you have to do is tap on the plus in the top left hand corner and from there if you would like to add text images buttons anything at all you will see those options right here all you have to do is hover over the section that you want let's say it's a video you would like to add then select one of the video players and drag it to this portion where you'd like it to appear on your website once everything is to your liking you're going to tap on save in the top right hand corner then tap on save and continue after you have tapped on save and continue I want you to go over to the left hand menu option right where you see site you're going to hover right there then from there you're going to tap on my dashboard and from here I'm going to be showing you how to set up your payment methods so this means that if you would like to offer for example PayPal or so on on your website after doing watching this and following the steps you will be able to do that the first thing you will need to do is pay attention to the left hand menu option and by the way you can also add store products by simply hovering right where you see store products you could tap on products right there and from here you would be able to sell jerseys or memorabilia if you want by simply tapping on new product in the top right hand corner then you could select physical product and you'll be able to upload your jerseys that you want to sell and you'll be able to track sales and so on using this platform also if in the future you like to create gift cards you can also do that you can also create events right here and by scrolling down you are going to see billing and payments i want you to hover right there then select payments after selecting payments you are going to be led to this dashboard and all you'll need to do now you are going to tap on the option manage payment methods then from here you can set up the different payment methods that you'd like to offer for example i could tap on connect paypal then from there you are going to enter your paypal account information as you can see right here so once someone taps on paypal they'll be able to do a payment on your website using paypal you can also connect tilopay and other payment options it all depends on the country that you are located in you'll see various payment options available once you have done all of this and your website is up and running all you'll need to do now is go over to the left hand menu option and from there you could tap on home to go back and by the way you can also add your logo and so on by tapping on business info right here but let's tap on home once on the home page you are going to tap on design site in the top right hand corner after you have tapped on design site you are going to be redirected to the wix editor page once on the wix editor page i want you to observe your website again and if everything is to your liking and you like how it looks and so on all you will need to do is go up to the top right hand corner and from there you are going to see the option publish keep in mind once you have tapped on publish your website will now be live meaning that anyone in the world will now be able to search for your website online and be able to view it so if it is to your liking and you're ready to go live all you'll need to do is tap on publish right here and that's it i hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe and thank you for watching